How do you know if you set up your WordPress blog in such a way that iTunes can find the video content from your feed? We're going to show you. In WordPress, go to your media, copy the hyper and pick the file that you want to attach to your uh, post, copy the hyperlink, go to your post, underneath where you've embedded the video from YouTube or Blip TV or wherever, um, create a hyperlink to the media file, and in this case you want it to be one that is compatible with iTunes and H.264 and uh, and I've got it formatted so that it will fit on an iPod or an iPhone and when you update that hyperlink it automatically adds an enclosure with the name of the video file in your me media library however uh, you do need to check it because occasionally that automatic process will append a bunch of garbage on there which will screw up your feed so you delete all of that you can also manually just put a URL in here and uh, set that up uh, as a custom field named enclosure and it'll do the exact same thing if you don't want to have a hyperlink in your post so there's the video and underneath that, unfortunately, you can't see it on the screen there. There's a, a link to download the file. And now we clicked uh, the subscribe to the feed button and copied the feed. And now we're going over to iTunes and saying that we want to subscribe to a podcast and entering that feed. And that comes up with the name of the website, uh, Step Out and you can see that it also has the name of the post as the name of that vodcast and the content of the post the text content of the post is the description of the vodcast and the little yellow wheel there is just saying that it's downloading the video when you go to click on the video after it's downloaded it will open up successfully and you know that you have a good feed.